oh my gosh, I've just put on so much weight. So I'm trying here to get into shape. What about you? Shouldn't you also try to learn some vocabulary about fitness? Yes, you should. But before that, let me get rid of these dumbbells. Today, I'm really pumped up to do this lesson with you. So let's start with the first one here. Fit. What do we mean by fit? Is it a short for any other word? Yes, it's a short form for fitness. Have you heard of this before? Who is a fit person? A person who is healthy and who has just the correct weight for their body. Yes, so maybe you're fit. I'm sure not fit. What about me? Maybe I'm in a bad shape. I think I'm overweight. Yes. So who do you use this for? Somebody who has more weight than their body should have. In other words, we call them fat, but not such a nice word to use really. So I suggest that you call them, maybe they're in bad shape or they're overweight. And if you have a friend like that, you could just tell them, hey, Mark, you're a bit overweight. Maybe you want to get back into shape. You can say, uh, use that also, get back into shape. Now that we are done about the shape, let's talk about being toned. Is this related to being in a, shape, in a good shape? Not really. This is for a person who is already very fit and they want to become muscular. Yes, they want to have strong muscles. Maybe you're one of them to be muscular. So now you know just the right phrase that you can use when you go to the gym and you can ask the coach to help you get toned, means to help you get muscular. Let's look at the next one, abs. Does that sound familiar? It's actually a part of our body, which is between the chest and the hips. This portion, it's called as abs, or it's a short for abdomen. Do you know about any exercise called abs? Yes, it's a very common exercise where we bring our knees and our head together to crunch our body so that we can lose the fat, uh, fat on our abdomen. Let's look at the next one quickly. Ripped. Ripped means to tear away something. Have you heard of ribbed jeans where you have certain cuts on the jeans the same way? Ripped body is a body where you have defined cuts on your body, which look spectacular. Tr trust me, most of the actors aim for that. Defined cuts on the body. This one here, what is a spare tire? Spare means? Extra. Yes, something that is extra. And tire is what you use in your cars. It's usually inflated, sometimes flat, but here we are talking about a spare tire which is inflated. And unfortunately, that tire is not in your car. It's here on your stomach and it makes you look really fat. And everyone wants to get rid of a spare tire. So if you've got one, you know what you need to get rid of. You can say it get rid of, you can use it as getting rid of a spare tire. Getting rid of. Ah. You know, this reminds me, you must have read this before or heard about apps. And there's a very common idiom related to apps. What's that? Boys and maybe even girls. I'm sure you've heard of six pack apps. You have, right? Everyone wants to have it these days. You see a lot of actors carrying six pack abs. Have you seen a pack of beer, beer that you drink? One, two, three, four, five, six. Just like the abs. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's what it is. Quite simple. It comes from the 
pack of a beer, of beers, sorry. With this, we have learned some terms and phrases that we can use related to our body. And now we move on to some phrases that we can use for fitness, uh, the process of fitness, for exercising. For exercising. So these are all actually phrasal verbs. What are phrasal verbs? Phrasal verbs are something very simple, not as complicated as the name. Warm here is a uh, verb and up here is a preposition. So a combination of a verb plus a preposition is called as a phrasal verb. Simple, isn't it? <laughs> you don't need to be worried about it. So warm up. Let's look at warm up. What is warm up really? You must know it. Uh, you must be knowing it that when you go to the gym, how do you start your exercising? Do you just straight away start with lifting weights? No, you don't. What do you do first? You do some stretching and some mild exercises to pump up your body, to heat up your body for the further exercises. That's what warm up is. Beginning exercises. Cool down. Cool down is what comes at the end of the exercise. Like warm up is, uh, you know, you do the warm up to pep yourself up for the, uh, you know, harder exercises. The same way, cool down, we do cool down, I mean, we cool down our body so that our heart rate comes lower and that we can go on with the rest of our activities. It's at the end of the workout. Workout, very simple. It just talks about the process of exercising. Whenever you go to the gym and all the time that you spend there exercising is called as working out. Process of exercising. Work off. Yes, it's similar to workout, isn't it? But it doesn't mean the same. So working off means getting rid of something. Last night, I went to my friend. I went to my friend Ben's party, and I ate a lot of ice cream there. And what did I do the next day at the gym? I worked it off. Means I got rid of the ice cream through workout to get rid of something. something. Workout gear. What do we mean by workout? You already know. It talks about the process of exercising and gear. Gear is the tool kit that you need to work out. Yes, tool kit. It's uh, usually in the form of a gym bag that you carry to the gym and using that bag uh, you put a lot of tools maybe some dumbbells or barbells or something that you need at the gym you put it there and it's really important just to remind you to carry some water in your workout gear right let's look at the last one reps and sets do you think this is also short for some other words like fit and abs You've got it, right? It is short for repetitions. And this is actually sets, same as this. So what do we mean by repetitions? When you go to the gym or when you're exercising at home, have you heard of this exercise called squats, where you bend down on your knees? Yes, in that exercise, if you do 10 of those, uh, that exercise, 10 times, if you repeat that exercise, that is called a repetition or repeating the exercise 10 times. And if you do 10 times, 10 times, 10 times again, thrice, 10 times, 10 repetitions, thrice, that's called sets, 10 repetitions, thrice.
This is what reps and sets are. Do you know there's another phrasal verb that you can use for fitness, and that is called cut down. Trust me, it's the most important thing that you'll ever know about losing weight. I'll write it here for you. To work out, oh sorry, to cut down. Cut down. Cut something down, not really. It talks about cutting down on your food intake. So maybe you eat a lot of sugar, you eat a lot of fat, and if you want to lose weight, you might want to cut down on your fat and sugar intake. That will help you big time. Now you have a tip and so much vocabulary for fitness. So don't wait for anything. Please go and lose weight, talk about fitness, and encourage your friends to lose weight using all of this vocabulary. And let me go to the gym and get back into shape. I'll see you all soon again with another lesson. Till then, you take care and work out. Bye-bye.